Hello everybody, sat here on a 8S205 Dyna E power. I've just got a few minutes on my hands and someone asked me to do a video on Dyna E power and how it works and what it's all about. So I'm going to give you a quick nuts and bolts run through of how it works basically. So as you know, Dyna E power is the clever new transmission from Massey Ferguson. It's a double clutch system, so it takes some of the lumps and bumps out of your power shift steps, uh, particularly when it comes to a range change because it's always working in a range above or range below where you want it to be. It's very clever, it's very smooth. Anyway, when you first start the tractor up, this is what you come with, and obviously, you know, it can be set however you've want it to be set or the last time you drove it but the critical settings are, are there there's a speed set at 40k just for reference on Dyna 7 and Dyna e-power if that is at only at 40k that is how fast it will go um, it won't go any faster than that so what you have to do is come to your multi-controller joystick and on the roller here if I roll that up just changes that speed and then when you accelerate, it'll go to 53K. So that's a nice, simple first setting. Then next to that, you'll see there's a number one and a number two. That is basically how it used to be on Dyna 6, where you got field and road mode. It's slightly different now, but essentially you can switch between number one and number two by pressing this button on the joystick. And ultimately that gives you two lots of transmission memory settings say for instance if you were leading corn and you've got a higher takeoff speed set for going down the road and chasing around on the road and then you can switch to number one say for a lower speed for shuttling around the yard or running alongside the combine and you can switch between number one and number two anytime you like you don't have to be stationed or anything like that so that's really quite handy so going back to Dyna E-Power, you'll see here that I've got number two, number two set, and I'm in range two. If I want to change my takeoff gear, all I have to do, very, very simple on these new tractors, you press this button here, it highlights the number two, and you scroll the scroll wheel on your multi-pad, and that changes your takeoff gear and your reverse gear. And as before, if you want a different reverse gear set, all you do is come back to that button, press it, highlights the reverse gear, and you can have that as a different gear if you want to. And after a few seconds, that goes off. There you go. So that's take off in number seven, go backwards in number five, transmission speed. The other thing you've also got now, and the sort of real master stroke on these Dyner E-Powers is you've got auto. Auto, if I press it, comes up with some different settings, different speeds. And instead of selecting a gear now, you've got a speed that it's going to go off at. So I suppose it's similar to setting uh, a, a Dyna VT. You're setting a speed to go forwards and backwards at. And it also then brings up two cruise control speeds as well and they're self-explanatory really you'd set one at 8k let's say and one at 5k up and down the field at 8k hit 5k for your headland turn and switch between the two so that's dead simple going back to our speeds again by pressing the little button on the joystick here or on the dashboard here press that and again you can alter your speed up and down with the roller on your joystick much the same as you did before and likewise hit the button again and you can set reverse separately if you want to okay that is all really nice and easy likewise it's still set at 40 up here so it'll only do 40k if i scroll my scroll wheel again set that at 53k and now what we'll find is i'll put the tractor in forwards I'll accelerate and it's just like driving an automatic car and it is fantastic for for road work and such like it's just like driving an automatic car the crucial crucial thing or one of the crucial things with um, 
this auto setting is if we come to the screen here there are some little settings in the screen as well just want to go through those so you go to this button here top right hand corner press that middle for diddle transmission settings and you see there it says acceleration sensitivity and deceleration sensitivity that controls how quickly it goes up the gears and how quickly it comes down the gears if you have it set in low it's all going to be fairly sedate it's not going to accelerate very quickly and likewise if you're coming up to a junction it ain't going to come down the gears very quickly so all you need to do is tap that and you know you can set it to medium or high i'd suggest that medium or low probably the settings you'll use the most but you know sometimes there is a a, a, a time when you'll need high and you'll use it i'm sure of that the other thing here is of course you can if you want to you can set your cruise control speeds through the screen here if you want to dead easy to do and likewise if you've got it set and the green lights on 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 the joystick you can roll through that and uh, roll through that on your roller and it will change it on there but to set your cruise control speeds it is easier to do it in the screen to be fair on this page as well if you press against the number two it brings up your shuttle forward and reverse sensitivity and how quickly the actual tractor changes its gears power shift response enough again that's been on tractors for a while um but again if you want to you can you can have it sort of clicking through the gears really quite nice and not sharp but sort of firm nice positive steps and again don't forget those settings that are in there for this transmission because it's those little bits that really do make the tractor or the transmission side of the tractor sing one other thing i want to mention while i'm on here is I've, I've heard one of people one or two people say oh we've got on the tractor and the linkage won't work or the the, the the hydraulics won't work very simply down here you see down here we've got two green lights one for the linkage one for the hydraulics if i press them if they're like that you aren't going to get the hydraulics to work or the linkage they have to be green and then everything on here will work likewise this button here you probably just about see it shining green if i turn that off this joystick won't work so again just little things to remember and there is one more that i get caught calls about all the time my front linkage is locked my front linkage doesn't work very simply come here on the screen press the front linkage it comes to the front linkage page this button here with the linkage and a cog if you press that and then you'll see at the top left hand corner there's this padlock and it'll almost certainly be on that setting there all you do is click it on and it'll work so there we go there's a run through relatively brief one to be fair but likewise a run through on Dyna e-power i'm going to do some more videos on how to you know if there's anything you want to see anything you'd like to hear about from me i have access to massey tractors a lot of the time you know I'm happy to do stuff for you guys if you want me to. Just leave a comment below and um, I'll see what I can do. Cheers.